Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate to you how to use the text tool in Adobe Illustrator. In Adobe Illustrator Workspace, to access the typography or type, uh, there are three areas where you can access the uh, type. One is on top here on the navigational bar. You have more from Adobe Fonts, Fonts, Recent Fonts, and Size, and Glyphs. And you also have other options here for your setting. Insert special character, insert white space, and insert the break character, show hidden characters. In your toolbar, you can see the letter T here. That is also another way to access the type tool. Just click on that and your cursor will change to a letter T. And the third place that you can uh, access type is here. And in the properties panel, you can, uh, this is where you can see all the different uh, setting of your type. Let me show you how the type, how the type tool uh, works. In this case, I will just press the type tool in the toolbar and then click on type tool. The shortcut is letter T on your keyboard. Click on your artboard and this is the default setting for the type. This is called a Lorem Epsom uh, dummy text. It fills up the entire, it will show you two words, Lorem and Epsom. The size and the size of the Lorem Epsom dummy text is dictated by the settings that you have put here on the properties panel. If you want to change the typeface, just go to your uh, properties panel and scroll down. You can use your keyboard if you want to if you want to pick a character. You can you can use your keyboard the up and down arrow. to choose a character and if you like the character that you see just press enter and it will uh, permanently fix the uh, character on the artboard this is called the point character tool because I just point it on the artboard it automatically uh, plays the default setting now the point uh, point uh, type tool works in such a way you can type it endlessly without breaking it. The only time you can break it is if you click, if you click enter, it will bring you to the next uh, line. As you can see, the second line touches the first line. is It's because of the setting that I have here. To change the setting of, of your baseline, you just have to increase the baseline so that it won't touch the first baseline. So this is a point type tool. If you want to convert this to an area type tool, just double click on that bar, on that anchor bar that extends out from the box. And that is converted now to an area type tool. Area type tool meaning to say that this blue line is where your text is going to be restricted. It won't go beyond that blue line. Just to show you how it works, let me type some letters. See, it doesn't, it doesn't go beyond that blue line. So right now I type uh, several letters. It doesn't show in the area type tool. The way you will know that is your area type tool has a red marker on the right hand corner on the bottom here. So that means to say there are more texts that are not showing in your area type tool. To access that, you just have to use your uh, selection tool and click on it. So once you click on that corner, your cursor will change into a uh, corner shape with the text on the bottom just like what you see here and then you are free to put it anywhere on the artboard and that's how it looks like so what it does actually it takes all the settings on the first area tool so for example this is a uh, area tool with a 7 by 1 inch area type 
it automatically carries the same dimension on the bottom here. So what you see here, this blue line that connects the two boxes, meaning to say they, they are actually interactive. They're connected to, to each other. So now you don't see any red box on the bottom here. That means to say all the texts are actually placed in the area type tool. If you want to change the typeface, all you have to do is just highlight the entire uh, document. And then you can pick the, you can change it uh, from your properties panel. The next setting is called the uh, type on the path tool. Type on the path is when you wanted to put text on a certain uh, path or a certain uh, shape. For example, I wanted to put it on a curve. And what you need to do is create the curve the curve line first using your pen tool and then highlight once you are satisfied with the kind of shape that you wanted to put your text just click the type tool again and click on that uh, on the curve so everything goes on top of the baseline